Hey yo everybody, Prod Charles here, and in this video we are going to enter the world of Rambo. As you can see, I have a green screen, but you know, I don't have the settings right just perfectly, and it takes a long time to set up, so I don't think I'll be using this often, but I hope you enjoy it for now. I'm just going to test it out in this video, and if it looks bad, it looks bad. I can't do anything about it. I just won't use it anymore. If you want me to keep on using it, let me know. So, last time we entered this extra room, we got a wake-up clock now for our... Wait... She can't take it. I guess I need to cut it off. Yep, got the wake-up clock. Sweet. Okay, what else do we need for the echo clock? It was the, called the echo clock, right? Yep, echo clock. One back, one glove and a black wire. What is this for, though? Okay, thanks, cat, for that. That was really helpful of you. Oh, the glove is up there. What the heck? All of this in one room, but isn't there 103 left? So we got the glove now. Do I need this elevator for something? Oh. What? Oh my gosh, it's one of those things. Okay. Excuse me, I really need the key hanging just behind you. Oh, that's the key for 103. Excuse me, but I do not talk to strangers, okay? You don't need to talk, just let me take the key. If I choose not talking to strangers, not listening is also part of the deal. Okay. How disappointing. I have a question, are you stuck to this tree? I am firmly attached to this. Why do you ask? Because we have a brush. I'm curious. See you later. No, we have a brush. We could brush their hair. Look, I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? I don't know. A hair comb? What is that? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. It's a dangerous day of a very cautious spirit. It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. <laughs> You're gonna get detached from that tree, girlfriend. I'd only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle, and nothing bad will happen. Okay. Okay, I'll be gentle. Fair enough. <laughs> yes, it worked! Now you can be free! What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifern. All Luciferns I've met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It feels incredible. They're turning into a whole bunch of fireflies. I feel like I need to fly away. Laters! Okay. Whoa. Did you see that little hair flick by Fran? Wow. That must be the key for door 103. I can smell it, but I can't reach it, can I? Hmm. The stick! Oh, it did come in handy. Now I have the key. Awesome! Thank you, tree! That's what we get for saving the tree from the Kamalas. We are about to enter room 103. Thanks, cat. Mechanical cat thing. You really helped us there. Hello, tree. You're big. Yes, you like to say stuff like that, don't you, Fran? What's in the cat's butt? Nothing? I assume there's nothing in there. Okay. Key to 103. Let's get in here. Ooh, the upside, the upside down door. Oh my gosh, this place. Where am I? Wait. This is not good. I need to go back to World 104, is it? Wait, do I have the black cord? No, I didn't retrieve the black cord. So I need to go back and get that black cord. Otherwise I won't be able to make the echo clock. Okay, cool. Let's go back. Not to 103 yet. Let's see if we can make the clock first. Or do we... How do I... How do I do this? Maybe there's going to be a part of the game where it just combines all the stuff for me. So let's check it out. Hey, this tree has a face. Creature from above, get out of Mabuka's den. You are not welcome. Is that Mabuka with the crying tears? The, the bleeding tears, I mean? Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat. I need to wake up Mabuka. Just Mabuka? Mother Mabuka for you, you arrogant, you arrogant little infant. Okay, someone's a bit touchy. And how did you plan to wake her up, babe? We've got a, we've got all the ingredients for the Echo Clock. Just make it. With the crazy ideas of Cogwind. Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you've been to a Thurstar. Horrid place. I may say, too dazzling. What? This guy. Well, that's exactly where I want to go, after I find my kitty. Good for you, you fragile little mind. We'll be safe there with all those boring creatures. Okay. What a meanie. What? A meanie? I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me, exactly. Worry about those who matter the most. 
The floor is beating like a heart. Is this Mapuka's heart? Why did you get all happy about that? Hi, goat. Yeah, you do look a bit like Remor. Say that so nonchalantly. You don't scare me a bit. Okay. What about the other tree? Oh, the other tree doesn't wake up. Can we click on Mabuka's face? Wow, what a big beautiful face. I think that's Mabuka. Can I use the plans on her? Nope. What do I do? Use the alarm clock? I'm clever enough to find another solution. So I, I do need to combine these items, but how do I do it? I have everything, don't I? Wake up Mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the light. Wow, this poem actually makes sense now. Blockus is angry and shining too bright. Mother Mabuka, wake up, wake up, and get the child. Before the darkness ends. What? Okay. Let's build the echo clock on the back of the giant cat. Oh, I have to go back to the giant cat, which is in room 102. Oh, so that's what that opening in the butt was for. Okay. Let's put everything in there. Yep. Put the soap in and the glove. The do I need to put the piano key in there? Yep, the piano key goes in. Use that. Yeah, there we go. And what else? One bottle with water. Okay. Is that it? What else do I need to put in there? Oh, the light bulb. My bad. And? Working bulb. Oh, the empty case. Did I really need to put all that stuff in there? Wow. Didn't let me keep anything. Okay. I guess we... Right! <laughs> Don't do that again, please. Thank you for the clock, by the way. Okay, now we can wake up Mother Mabuka. So let's go back to 103. 103. Here we go. Wake up, Mother Babuka. Whoa, flashing lights, bubbles, and sound. She's gonna be mad about that. Ah! Beware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness arises from the unknown. Oh, I'm well, sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. Thank you, Fran. You do have a mouth. I'm Frambo, human girl. Eleven years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. Oh, so she finally aged to eleven. A human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? He entered her head? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? The duotine. My pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? All of this stuff is being unraveled. The power inside you. Don't you know? You have the power of the ultra-reality. You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? I told you this. Do I? So does that mean I'm the other Frambo and I come back around? The great Volokus from Prime Eve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be haunted by the sons of darkness after feeding from the red seed. But you were too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remor killed my parents. Mother Mabuka, can you imagine how it feels? I am all those feelings, Franbo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Remor killed my parents? I thought you were nice. Please, Fran, Bo, have you been paying attention to what all these characters have been saying? I'm curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself. The truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Oh my gosh, she's bleeding. She's bleeding from her eyeballs. All that crying. It's not good for her. Oh no, we're back here in Dr. Dean's hospital. But you know what? I think that's all we have time for for this video. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you want more adventures like this. And I'll see you next time. See ya!